Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and hello if you are new. Welcome, my name is Maggie. I make videos on beauty, makeup, fashion, sometimes hair, kind of all that good stuff. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then please subscribe, that would be amazing. So in today's video, I just wanted to do a really nice kind of sit down tutorial video with you guys. I kind of want to do that whole like fox eye thing. Fox eye is like a really big trend right now. Everyone wants that nice kind of lifted eye shape. I've done videos like this before on my Instagram, but I thought I would do like a little bit more of an in-depth one on my YouTube channel and also as you can see from the title today I'm using all cruelty free makeup so everything in this tutorial is going to be cruelty free I'm not 100% sure if everything is vegan um, but I know for a fact that it is cruelty free because I've checked on all of the products so yes but yeah let's just get straight on in to the tutorial so as I said I'm going to be doing like a fox eye today I'm going to be doing it quite like a smoky kind of neutral brown foxy eye that you could wear kind of day to day or glam. I kind of wear this makeup day to day but some people would find it really glam so just whatever floats your boat. Let me zoom you in. The lighting is not amazing today. Obviously as you know I film with kind of like natural light. I have got a little light up today because it's so cloudy so if the lighting looks a bit off I know I say this all the time but I'm really sorry I can't help the sun okay so today I'm actually going to be starting out with my eyes because I like to start with my eyes when I'm doing more of a kind of like smoky look so to prep and prime my eyes I'm going to be going in with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24 hour anti-crease eyeshadow primer this is actually a little sample size but I've been using this for quite a while now you only need the tiniest little bit and it is really good at priming your eyelids I think I have used this in in video before but it's just a really nice kind of like clear eyeshadow base so I'm just gonna use the tiniest little bit on my finger and just kind of pop that on my eyes I find that recently when I'm doing my eye makeup first I just prefer the way my makeup comes out at the end for whatever reason even if I'm using eyeshadows that don't tend to fall down on the face I just find that the overall look is a little bit cleaner and nicer when I'm done so that's why I'm gonna start with my eyes today so what I like to do when I'm doing a smoky eyeliner the perfect way to get a smoky eyeliner is to actually use some sort of tape or sticker at the end of your eye so that you can literally just peel it off and you've got a nice beautiful clean line it's not always the look I want to go for because sometimes I want my eyeshadow to be a little bit more messy but recently I've been loving using these I actually got a pack of about 50 of these from Primark for about a pound I've had them for so long so hopefully they still do them but if not you could just literally use tape and what I actually do is I just take a pair of scissors and actually just cut this in half because to be honest I don't need this whole thing and then I'm just gonna cut this in half again so now I'm left with two little pieces of these kind of sticky things that you can stick on the side of your eye so I'm just going to peel off the back and the trick with these if you're going to get these is to stick them on the back of your hand first then peel them off and then stick them to your face because if you don't do that these are really sticky and they will literally feel like they're pulling the skin off around your eyes so that's not ideal your eye area is very delicate so just be careful with these and tape just stick it on the back of your hand first and then I'm just going to kind of line it up so I like to follow my bottom lash line as if it was to try travel up so for me that's about there so for eyeshadow today, I was kind of stuck in which brand to use because there's so many cruelty free brands out there that I love their eyeshadow palettes. But today I actually just chose this one. So this is from Kode and this is their Lustrous Cool Dry Palette. And this is just a really nice kind of neutral eyeshadow palette. Good for kind of every day, but then you can also use it for more of a glam look as well because you've got the darker colors in there and you have a nice black as well. So I'm gonna start off with a fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M433. It kind of looks a little bit like the MAC 217 if anyone has that brush. First of all, I'm just going to take this colour here, which is actually the third one in from the black. And this is kind of like a dirty kind of greeny brown. I really like this shade. And what I'm going to do, this is literally going to be the easiest eye look, by the way, because it's just so quick and simple. I'm literally just going to be running this straight across my lash line. And when I say straight, I mean like in a straight horizontal line so I'm not going in any kind of curving motions I'm literally just gonna be applying this straight across that lash line so I'm applying most of the product right near that kind of tape and the lash line and then almost like working my way up and then just going in with a little bit more of a lighter pressure I'm just kind of blending those edges you can go in with a clean brush but I just find using the same brushes quicker okay so I just got myself to the same point on my other eye 
And now I'm going to be taking this really small brush. This is again from Morphe, I believe, yeah. And it's the M508. This is a really good kind of small little detail brush. And I'm actually just going to be taking the black. And what I'm going to be doing now is basically just stamping that black right as close as we can to the lash line and then just pulling it out slightly onto that tape as well so you want to keep the black which is obviously the darkest color as low down as you can you don't want to bring it up too too much because then you just get end up with a mess so we want this to be darkest near the lash line and then fading into the brown and because you've got the tape there this technique is literally like foolproof like no one can mess this up it's so easy I'm just going to take that first brush with no extra product and just kind of lightly go over the edge of that black and just kind of mesh the two shades together. Okay, and then literally once we get to this point, simple as, we're just going to take these stickers off, if I can. If I can. See, even with putting that on my hand first, it's still pulling my skin, so you've got to be so careful. And you can see that we have like the perfect kind of sharp line. Obviously I still need to clean up a little bit around here, but that's fine. Perfect doll. So I'm just gonna take a little makeup wipe and just wipe away any of the extra eyeshadow that kind of fell down. And because we haven't done our skin already, it's absolutely fine to just wipe this straight away. Now I'm just going to go in with a really small coat of mascara because I am going to be using lashes. I'm just going to be taking the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2 mascara just to add a little bit of something to my lashes. You could just do mascara with this and call it a day but I am going to put lashes on today. Okay guys, and now for the lashes, this section of the video is actually kindly sponsored by Lumi Cosmetics, which I am so, so excited about working with them because they recently sent me over some of their beautiful lashes and I actually tried them out for the first time in my Raw Beauty Christy X Pure testing video. So if you watched that video, you would have briefly seen these lashes in that video. But after trying the lashes, me and Lumi Cosmetics decided to work together on this portion of the video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be using their lashes which I'm honestly obsessed with. So Lumi Cosmetics is a cruelty free lash brand and their lashes are honestly insane. They have a range of different styles which I'm going to have kind of popping up on the screen now so you can see these lashes retail for £10 which is super inexpensive and you can actually reuse these lashes around 10 to 15 times. So you're literally paying under a pound per wear of these lashes so I'm going to have them linked down below in the description box if you want to check them out. If you want to try some new lashes they will just be in the description box. Today I actually want to use a style Brit which have got kind of like a longer lash at the end which is going to be perfect for today's look because it's really just going to kind of go with the kind of fox eye that we're trying to create and really lift the eyes up. Okay so I've just let the glue kind of go a little bit tacky for about 30 seconds and now I'm just going to look straight down into my mirror and place these on. I like to hold them in the center first and then kind of pull on the outer corner and then the inner corner. Okay, so that is both pairs of lashes on. As you can see, they are quite dramatic and they look a little bit crazy at the moment, I can't lie. But that's just because I haven't got like the rest of my makeup on. Once we've got the brows on and the face done, they're gonna look stunning. I honestly love them. And they feel really comfortable as well. Considering they're quite a full lash, I don't feel like I'm being kind of like overtaken by lash, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna come back to the eyes in just a sec. But for now, I'm gonna zoom you back out a little bit. So for primer, I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Future G oil serum hybrid glossier is obviously a cruelty free brand and I really do like this primer it leaves my skin nice and glowy and hydrated so it says on the bottle to take two pumps of this but I personally think that that's way too much so I like to just go in with one pump but look at the glow that this primer gives it's honestly insane it just gives you such a beautiful like wet look skin almost like glass I just love it now just sticking on the glossier theme I'm gonna go in with the skin tint I have this in the shade G10 I know this is very very, very light coverage to be using for quite a full B makeup. But I do quite like doing that recently, having more of a kind of glam eye and then a little bit more of a natural skin. I just think that it looks just quite nice, really. And also, I am going to go in with a little bit more of a full coverage concealer. So, yeah, I'm just going to be applying this with a brush. I always get so many questions on this brush. It is the It Cosmetics Foundation Brush. And it's very, very pricey, but I do feel like it's worth it. Like, it really does blend 
your foundation really, really nicely. And because this foundation is so liquidy, I would say that you kind of have to use it with a brush because with a sponge, it just doesn't really work. But I really do love this foundation. I just think it just gives such a beautiful, fresh, natural look to your skin. Okay, now for concealer, I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way. This is so old and used and abused that the writing has already come off. And mine has actually oxidized a little bit. Like it has definitely changed color since I've had this. I've had it for probably over a year, but mine is in the shade Snow. Although, like I said, this is definitely not the same shade as when I bought it. I'm gonna put quite a lot of this sort of under my eyes because the foundation, as I said, is not very much coverage. So I do want a little bit more coverage just kind of under my eyes. This is quite yellow, isn't it? It's like literally yellow. I'm also just gonna put a tiny bit around my nose because I've got a little bit of redness at the moment. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend that with this old crusty, dusty beauty blender. I need to get a new one of these. ASAP. I'm just being really careful to obviously not go over the work that we've just done on the eyes. For powder, I'm actually going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way powder as well. When I first got this powder, I really didn't like it. I felt like it left such a like weird kind of like orangey cast under my eyes, but for some reason, I tried it again recently and now I really like it, so I don't really know what that was about. But I'm just literally putting this under my eyes just to set that concealer because otherwise I will crease like a and I'm just going to set like around my nose today and my forehead as well just because it's quite humid today so I don't want to like sweat it off. And can you see how like even though we use that skin tint foundation which is like so minimal coverage just using a full coverage concealer under the eyes has just made the skin look so like flawless. So you don't always need to go in with a full full coverage like foundation all over your face you can just literally use like the coverage where you actually need it which is definitely something that I've been doing more at the moment and I feel like it does really help to make your makeup just look a little bit better in my opinion look at me all in tutorial mode today I don't know why I'm so factual all of a sudden. So for blush up, bronzer and highlighter, I actually just have one big palette for this. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Unlocked palette. I've actually had this for quite a while. I think this was a Christmas limited edition about two years ago now, but they always have these palettes kind of like floating about. I think at the moment they've got one, it's called like the Ghost Palette or something, which is very similar. This is basically one of those full face palettes where you have like a powder, you have like two bronzers, a highlighter, and then two blush so it's kind of everything all in one so this is what I'm going to be using for my blush bronzer and highlighter today I personally absolutely love hourglass products if you've not tried them they are like ridiculously expensive like I think that palette was probably about 60 or maybe even 80 pounds but I do feel like you do get what you pay for with hourglass because their products are just unreal like they really are just everything and more like look at how easy that bronzer just blended out and it okay it's a little bit dark for me I did oh why is there so much dust? It is a little bit dark for me, like I did go a bit ham, but that's my own fault. But I just feel like the actual quality of the powders are just unreal. For blush, I'm going to take more of the kind of lighter shade. Usually I mix them together, but I don't really want too much of a dark blush today. I want the face to be quite neutral, even though I've put about 10 tons of bronzer on. This blush as well has such a nice glow. Like I don't know if you can see, but it's just literally so glowy and fresh. I just love it. I like to put a little bit on my nose. This brush I love. This is from Anastasia, right? But it sheds so much. It's the most annoying thing. Like I love the brush. It applies makeup so well, but like where's the need to shred? This brush is literally like 28 pounds or something. Now I'm just gonna use the highlighter. This is a very glowy highlighter. Like this is quite like a beaming one, so. You only have to go in with a little bit of a light hand with this, but obviously me being me, I like to go in with sides. I'm gonna pop some like right above my brow as well. And where I haven't done my brows yet, I can just kind of like go through and like roughly apply my highlight. I'm now just gonna go in with some Morphe setting spray to just kind of combine everything together. I like to do this at this point just to kind of refresh and make sure everything blends really nicely. I'm gonna take my little handheld fan from Amazon and just blow dry this dry. 
So next for brows, I'm just gonna fill them in as per usual with my Charlotte Tilbury Supermodel Brow Lift and then just go through with some Anastasia Brow Gel. I'm just gonna whiz straight through this bit because I do the same with my brows every single time. And yeah, then we can finish off the face. I'm now gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury, the classic pencil in the shade black. I've sharpened this so it's really super sharp. And I'm actually just gonna create a tiny little point in my inner corner just so that this eye can be like super foxy and kind of feline and sexy. So I'm not going to be able to talk when I do this, but I'm just going to add a little tiny point with this eyeliner. Okay, so it isn't super, super sharp. So what I'm actually going to do is take one of these pointy cotton buds that I get off of Amazon, and I'm actually just going to clean that up very slightly. This is what's good about using pencils, is that if you do mess up, you can just kind of rub them off with a cotton bud. Okay, so now for lips, I always, always do a nude lip, and people always tell me you need to do something different from a nude lip because it's boring. So today I thought I would do a really nice kind of classic red lip. Considering we've got the kind of classic eyes, I thought a red lip would go really nicely. So I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Savage Rose Lip Liner. This is kind of like your true red lip liner. It's a really nice kind of deep, berry red and then I am going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Stunner lip paint in the shade Uncensored which is again the most perfect kind of red it's such a beautiful red shade it's like a true pillar box red <gasps> oh my god look at that guys what the hell how did that even happen Right, so I just added the tiniest bit of bottom mascara just to kind of like the outer lower lashes just to give that really nice kind of lifted look like we're going for. And I've finished applying the lip and this is the completed finished look. I'm so happy that everything in this video is quality free as well because these are honestly such amazing products. It just honestly baffles me how not every product is quality free these days. Like I honestly don't understand. But yeah, if you did enjoy the video, then please do be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. That would be amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.